that actually worked. I really hope this isn't what I think it is. Oh no, it's worse. I have the real an actual hell. Can you imagine signing up to play Doom Eternal, wanting to cut a swath to a horde of demon, and then being forced to play The Witness instead? Council. The day has finally come. After many requests to check out Maxor's um, incorrect summary of Ultra Kill, I'm finally doing it. Of course. Of course, because the man who is soon to leave his uh, corporeal self for a digital one, big fucking bold, also Satan. Satan's biggest fan, has finally done it. And after experiencing the game for myself, listen, if this is what hell truly is like, then God, Jesus, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. This has got to be the best game for him to make a review on due to his editing style and humor this is going to be perfect so um without further ado let us jump into the madness that is an incorrect summary of ultra kills act one in the world you have tribulations but hold on i don't ever remember reading in any of the gospels warning for epileptical seizures Machine, you will answer now. Why is that the uh, of God. a punching grey ribbon soundtrack? The righteous hand of the Father. What does that even mean? I am it. I enjoy words. You call shooting a coin a martial art? This is Ultra Kill. It is a game. You can play it. I hope you are not startled by the screaming. Set in the distant future of 2019, we play as the world's first vampiric Nikon, programmed with one singular goal. Kill Margaret Thatcher. Thus, we embark on our journey into the deepest, darkest pits of hell, where we can find normal things that make the game very fun, featuring such polygonal challenges as Crash Bandicoot and uh, puzzles of color. The devs are a little bit eccentric. Oh. Some backstory. This game is loosely based on a 14th century fan fiction about God. Therefore, I agree. I wholeheartedly agree on that one because Dante's Bizarre Inferno is my favorite Christian fanfic anime. Well, beside Stringin and whatever it is that inspired the, uh, well, it's not so much anime, but the World of Darkness universe. Or what you are about to see is canon to the Christverse. I will not be accused of blasphemy again. With that being said, the game goes harder than diamonds. And after this video, I hope you will see why. You know, if you can see it all. Such a banger of an OP. This song goes so hard. Oh. Uh, hey guys, it's me, Maxor. Welcome back to, uh, fucking Undertale. So the game <laughs> begins in a hallway, and I do not have permission to use the restroom. When I am lost, I always keep a lookout for my two best buddies. Smith and Wesson. Say it. Say it. Smith and Wesson. So the yeah. game just kind of gets going immediately. I have interrupted elevator music time. This level begins as a tutorial, primarily focused on executing basic <laughs> mechanics as well as be disabled, preferably from a high drop. In this game, explosions and gore are plentiful, but as per my design as a sentient fucking GoPro, my gears must be greased with the blood of the innocent. My power source is Vampire Piston, which means the more blood, the better. It is the Wait, 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 wait. We gotta check that. What in the holy water is squirted into a piston well? Vampire collapsed into a pile of dust. Piston goes down. Blood is squirted into the piston well. Vampire regenerates, punching the piston up. Repeat. Who in the bloody hell made this? <laughs> That's so dumb. Which means the more blood, the better. It is the only thing I know for heal. There will be bloodshed. And as far as healing systems go, this <laughs> is the best one because it forces the player to actually play the game to restore their health. But yeah. that's enough about mechanics because it's time to fight the uh. Oh no. Oh god. It's the funny rock. Post this rock to instantly become funny. I think my copy of Elden Ring is broken. 
Hey there, my fellow girls. Welcome to level two. We have Amazon. Here you'll buy the most important item in the entire game. That's right, the power to throw coins. Because why aim at throw enemies? money at your enemies. Target the size of a fucking coin. This shit is amazing. The hit is guaranteed, regardless of the coin's location. Even if that coin's location is space or just the inside of an enemy. Of the ultimate Bezos ability. Times, but besides that, the mission is pretty. The mission is pretty normal. In fact, it's a little too normal. One could call it suspicious. Have it's you among heard us. Of the game Among Us? We have to vent like the sus imposter. It's the only way to get the lean skull, which I assure you is required to access the secret door, which apparently just ends the level. Don't now, as do I it. Learned, there is a reason this is a secret mission. Oh, that boss, that boss that comes and sings the Yin Yang twin song, uh, whisper song in your ear. Oh, it was horrible. Because now it is able to escape. Oh, it's my YouTube career. <laughs> I am in great danger. Do not Google Danger Force Season 2 Episode 1. In this level, we need to find our way through the back rooms without making too much noise. Because if you can hear it, then it has definitely heard you. My favorite part is the persistent darkness and a horrifying droning noise as it creeps every corner. Really ups the entertainment factor. Now, of course, you can shoot it, but that will only set it back. It is inevitable. Do you have any games on your phone? <laughs> Let's just uh, get the fuck out of here. I no longer wish to play in the Markiplier maze. Shinji, crank that soldier boy. Okay, wow. level three. Let's just uh, wow. take a look at the catalog. <laughs> Never mind. So to make it through this mission, we have to use our coins with a lot of nuance and subtlety, just like Ted Kaczynski ascending up the normal stairs. Dude, this man. <laughs> okay. This is where I have to admit to my uh, inner white girl. Mm. And for those of you who paused the video and were like, huh, I'm not done talking. Like many, I have also fallen down the pipeline of uh, watching Netflix crime dramas because why not? And uh, in there, I stumbled on the, what is his name again? The guy who played in Avatar. The one with the blue man group, not the M. Night Shyamalan Ding Dong adaptation. Uh, Sam Worthington, yes, he had this show, his cinematic redemption in the, um, a, a Netflix show called the Manhunt Unabomber. Yeah, where he uh, went after the guy, Krasinski, where we find out that he had this specific coin in there, uh, yeah, that, I, I caught that reference. Case very competently, we meet the only problem that money cannot solve. That's right, road construction. And for that, we're going to need high explosives. Normally, that's unavailable unless you try hard enough. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's the feds. They're here to shoot my dog. This is the Jason enemy, notable for his geometric style headgear and a free shotgun. His AI is a single celled organism. I want you to get so my mad father. if you parry Following him. This fight, we acquire our next weapon, the Remington grenade launcher, which we can use to finally eliminate obstacles to progress. But that isn't what's important about the shot. Gun. What is important is that I can uh, punch the bullets. Yes! The best feature in the game. You see, Ultra Kill is a game that lets you parry all kinds of attacks, and shotgun shells just so happen to count as a projectile. So, uh, guess what that means? I'm going to mail these pipe bombs with same day shipping. It makes the bullets go faster. I really hope you don't mind, but uh, I'm going to use this for the rest of the game. And if that hurts your eyes a little bit too much, don't worry, it can get worse. Upon diligently researching the uh, larger calibers, we make the discovery <laughs> that I can load my shotgun a bit more than necessary. That's right, we've made a suicide vest. I'm going to join my racist uncle in Valhalla. I find this mode very useful for, uh, launching myself into the minus dimension. The, uh, the Linus dimension. Does anyone need some tech tips? Uh... Is oh, he he's hitting the oh wall. God, he's hitting the gritty. Oh, I see. This is one of those platforming <laughs> levels. My favorite platform is YouTube. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. That's a weird way to spell Twitter. Oh. What the fuck? You have Uno. No, I don't. It comes from hey, Jim Ross. Have you have fucking Uno. The worst quarterbacks. Bruh, it's a new pit bull to euthanize. I know he has a basketball, but I was not expecting him to dunk that. Oh, shit, basketball! This man is actually balling. He caught me wearing them fake jays. Now. <laughs> This may not be a long fight, but what is there teaches a valuable lesson to the player. The lesson is up. Use crack. You know, like me. Whenever I use the computer, do not under any circumstances touch the True. Ground. So after dodging his many dribbles and dunks, we eventually reach halftime, causing SpongeBob and the crew to enter the arena and sing a song. Oh my god, it's my two favorite basketball players, Ornstein and Smo. I didn't even <laughs> know you could play Uno 2v1. So you do have fucking Oh no, I put him in his red state. He has absorbed the power of Ornstein. Looks like I'm gonna have to use my secret weapon, money. <laughs> it 
is it fits well okay <laughs> needlessly getting political here but uh, red states are famous for their affinity for uh capital being the only worst enemy never fails shinji i really like how they filled this room with uh more statues It is finally time to enter the Hellevator, also known as California. Hell has got to be a good time. After all, it's where my subscribers live. Oh man, I bet it's <laughs> like some blood and shit. Oh. This was a nice to twist. Hell, we have a... With this big ass. Bird noises, <laughs> and also the... Uh, Machine, I have taken a selfie with the funny rock. All right, never mind. Honestly, this level is pretty chill. I spent most of it delivering human skulls. But you know what I find really relaxing? Construction equipment. After all, the nail gun is great for putting people to sleep. Honestly, I wish I had more of an explanation, but it just kind of liberates their insides. This rifle is... It's uh, pretty good. ...chambered for nuance. Hey guys, I'm Ian from Forgotten Weapons, and today we're going to be killing a man. Just, uh, don't give the statue anything. That actually worked. I really hope this isn't what I think it is. Oh no, it's worse. I have the real and actual hell. Can you imagine signing up to play Doom Eternal, wanting to cut a swath to a horde of demon, and then being forced to play The Witness instead? This was a, a, and all that to get just get the testament of God to do fucking puzzles. Oh, Max, you should play Ultra Kill. I'm sure you'll love all 26 of the puzzles. Here's a puzzle for the game developers. How long until I reach your house? And here I thought the level was supposed to be relaxing, but it's just so. Oh, oh they're not even cooked right. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Oh, who do I have to fucking find? Oh god, never mind. That shit is harder than Ganyu's hips. So, uh, welcome to the fire enemy. It has a man likes his waifus. Fucking jump scare. And no, I respect I that. The they were designed without self-preservation. You know what? I don't want to go to the family barbecue. I think I belong in the uh, secret cartel tunnels underneath El Paso. How's about we just let ourselves in? Oh, oh cool. yeah. It's a, an abandoned asylum. Can't wait to see what lives here. What? It's a regular sized rat. He's celebrating yeah. yet another birthday bash. Sir, s stop resisting. It had to be done. Let us never speak of this again. I'm gonna fucking kill myself. Welcome to the real boss fight in the game. You actually have to play it. Chuck E. Cheese is no longer fucking asking. How about we just, uh, vibrate it until it's already- I realized later, uh, after completing this, that uh, it is a reference to a guy who um, promoted the game in his demo. So, uh, yeah, I guess he did a great enough job to be included in the game. So, neat for him. It's exploded. I'm going to forget this is here. Moving on from the Disney business model, we enter a challenge that offers us a choice. Blue team or red team? Comment your team below. And if you do both, you get to fight whatever this shit is. I love being able to understand my screen. Really sorry if you thought this video was going to have a bit rate. Anyways, to finish this level, <laughs> I chose to take the harder route because as a gamer, it really hits my erect penile pecker. Oh, hey, look, it's a skull. Oh, God. Go, go, gadget coins. My favorite detail is that if you do the hard route, the game just drops you inside the easy route. So you're oh, yeah. Nothing a little hopping can't fix man what a nice looking rock. oh he didn't find the oh. soap oh no it's fucking handicapped welcome everyone to the hideos mass fight also known as your mom <laughs> got him now i could spend time explaining this boss but that requires that okay I understand it this shit is goddamn incomprehensible i want to congratulate the devs on the first non-euclidean enemy of course that is implying that you can see him because the grapple attack makes that a little difficult just like doing literally anything else so if you do get grappled get ready to convert because god can't this thing has the weirdest of lures. Help anymore. And because this boss has armor, the only way to damage him is to hit him in his bell icon, preferably before he slams that subscribe and smashes that like button. I want to thank Lord God fucking damn it. Kids, please never become YouTubers. Top 10 moments in Ultra Kill, number one. You're fucking dead. I finally understand <laughs> it now. In order to beat the YouTubers, we have to tap into their only weakness. Children. I'm sorry, but it's the only way. Go, go, gadget allegations. Oh. It's sad, but it's true. It's sad, but it's true. I, I managed to beat this boss by just staying under its belly. So, uh, because that's the only part that is vulnerable. But I guess that the uh, bell icon is also one that you can hit. And please do on this channel. <laughs> 
Jesus Christ. I don't think his channel's gonna recover. <laughs> Oh no, oh, hello it's gonna there. get better. I didn't see you walk in. I was busy watching random unprotected security cameras. Welcome to Claire de Lune. Such a calm level, very peaceful. Do not knock on the doors. I really appreciate the- uh, Oh shit, watch out, I'm coming through. The ambience. For you see, the church demands a sacrifice and the only way to appease it is to provide to me these bodies three. To do this, we have to calmly and meticulously break into your house. And after gathering <laughs> all three of the balls, we finally unlock the power to jump through the window. Good to see. <laughs> Yeah. I'm using my time wisely. Oh, fuck, here I come. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it would be obvious, brother. After all, I am you, but stronger. Wait! Whose cameo is this? Okay, I need to listen to more to the voice. I, I think I know who this is. Yeah, V2 is a... Uh, it wasn't that hard. Welcome everybody to the race war. It's a little but he's bit fast. fast, you know, just kind of quick. I mean, look at this shit. The fight is so fast, it's editing itself. What side are you on, Bloods or Crips? I will be <laughs> joining the war on drugs on the side of the drugs. The yeah. The thing is that he is completely wacko. He moves like you, shoots like you, and everything that you can do, he can do better. He can do everything better than you, except dodge because that would be weird. Needless to say, this fight is very difficult, mainly because V2 is so fast he's goddamn omnipresent. Good luck trying to fucking heal, because hitting him up close is a Parkinson's simulation. I just want to fucking shoot him. Human that nail gun. fucking built for this. We're supposed to be threshing wheat and dying of smallpox. Looks like you've gone a little rusty, brother. <laughs> I think that something is wrong with my copy of DMC. There's this annoying <laughs> motherfucker inside of it. You think you can best me? After all Shut up. Overall, though, the beauty of this fight is annoying that it's simple, but complicated. Simple in that he has your move set, but complicated in that he has your move set. Don't worry though, you'll get a lot of practice with him over and over and over again. The beatings will continue until morale improves. You're just a fucking Nikon! Okay, I get it, but honestly, that's what makes this fight fun. We choose to kill V2, not because it is easy, but because he won't stop talking. Death by Japanese that, camera. To throw into the fucking sun. Go go gadget car bomb. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I'm gonna call that one a draw. Team Rocket is pissing off again! <laughs> uh, Ooh, it looks like he forgot his arm. I don't know if this is legal in California. Oh so man, King Minos. A, a bit monkey. It comes with many utilities that you don't want, but what it is good for is reducing the enemy into their base particles. You better not catch these hands because now they're chambered for 12 gauge. The <laughs> only downside is that uh, you can't hit your bullets anymore. No, so, so that's this sucks. Dog shit and I'm going to kill my infant son. Welcome everyone to the Lair of Lust. I am already Please installing don't. Azulane. It's this game about chips and you can marry children. So after many fistings <laughs> in the sewers, we make it to the bounce pad and enter a... Uh, Cyberpunk. That's right, we're in Night City now. Wake the dog up, Samurai. <laughs> Here we've got all the amenities of a dystopia. Street Warfare, Amazon training video, Nightmare Obelisk, the corpse of King Minos, and of course, Death Trampoline. <laughs> I, um, having fun there, guys? Because I'm having a blast. V, I've got a job for you. Your Windows machine has virus. So far, every level has introduced to us a new word. You know, like Dora. Words like anger or fear come to mind. <laughs> well, this level's word is verticality, which is a very welcome addition. You know, when it works, work, I have discovered their yeah. own weakness. Slight altitude difference. Yeah, they can't jump. See us ascending the MC Escher Tower, contemplating the sweet embrace of death, and eventually descending down the uh, shaft of lust. You have. <laughs> I don't quite understand how it is that meme evolve, <laughs> but the fact that they turned Aerosmith's <laughs> "Dream On" into <laughs> a song about suicide. Oh my god, the internet does his thing. I have no idea how much self-control it takes to not reference Genshin Impact. The theme of verticality continues again as we make our way through an actual nice neighborhood. They, uh, gentrified the zombies. So to beat this level, we have to throw balls of copper into the power lines. It also has my new favorite enemy, Pepsi Man. But the most important thing in this level is the railgun. Yes. Oh my god, the railgun. This is the best thing in the entire game, as you can see. And it comes in three unique flavors. Piercing Gatorade, Baja uh -huh. Blast, and of course, the drill. Nobody uses the drill, but that is no. just the beginning, because this shit has tech. You can bounce it off coins, bounce it into the stratosphere, bounce it off grenades to nuke the planet. What? What? Okay, I played it completely wrong. 
there was an additional thing that I could use for my arsenal. Oh my god. Holy... I didn't know that. Great, great. Now I know. Now I know. And most importantly, instant kill everything in the game by bouncing your shot three times. I would explain this mechanic to you, but we would have to consult the diagrams. If you would like to know more, all you have to do is watch an 18 minute YouTube video. Okay, seriously guys, where's the, uh, where's the exit? I want to get off Mr. Minos's wild run. Hello everyone, Tom Scott here, and today I'm trapped <laughs> at the south side of Chicago. Alright guys, welcome back to, uh, Sheer Heart Attack. It has no weaknesses. This level is a lot like the others in that you cannot escape his gaze. It has the kind of verticality where your locked in a corn maze. You see, the layer is a metaphor for my sanity, always dropping. Man, what a nice looking city. It has so the much pixels. texture. I can't <laughs> believe Minos can use creative mode. Fucking doors stuck. D -d door stuck. Here we meet our newest enemy. Oh yeah. god, what is that? Its main abilities are teleportation, as well as making me feel a certain way. If only yep. it wasn't annoying as Waifu far. with and abs. Dispatch, she will, um... She will explode. You know what? All this violence is making me crave some secrets. But don't worry, this won't be anything like the last two. Those were not painful enough. All we have to do is track down the United States power grid. That way we can skip the level again. This shit always ends well. No, no, you, you can't do this to me. I don't, I, I, I don't want to be here. I think now's a good time to mention that you can buy body pillows from the Ultra Kill store. Yeah, it yeah. It tells you about how you're late for school and uh, the human mind is an evolutionary maladaptation. We need to destroy the left wing using facts and logic. And hello everyone, Dennis Prager here. God has told me the age of consent is too high. So after we finish debating liberal snowflakes on the internet, we finally decide to fix the aspect ratio. At least one of us has purpose in life. By the oh way, my god. <laughs> when trigger you? I'm playing an action game, so uh, what is the first time? Max. It's this always level funny. Takes place in the wonderful New York Metro system. We're here to investigate reports of the Rat Men. Also, uh, the train is fully compatible with my auto clicker. They just forgot to set a cooldown. Don't worry though, it is literally faster to B hop instead. Gotta work on my trainless percent speed run. Hmm. I don't like the implications of this. Welcome to the- Catch them hands! Fight. King Midos needs help putting his fist in a narrow cavity. It's a very simple fight, mostly just dodging his DK bongos. There really isn't much room to dodge here, and Midos can juju on that beat. But ultimately, every attack is fair and telegraphed, which is more than I can say for some games. All we have to do is help him find his car keys. Go, go, gadget, revolver. <laughs> No Pringles Don't in that worry, can. I'm no stranger to fistings in the subway. All we have to do now is um offer a whole pizza to the rat god. I'm sure he'll be cheesed to meet me. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. You're just in time for the event. What event? Wiener Compression Day. The fuck? Uh -huh. Word of the day: retrograde erection. <laughs> because that's what, what you get when he starts punching you. And today we're going to be living the 510 experience. King Minos is uh, kind of a big deal around here. Killing him is going to be a tall order. This battle is deceptively simple since his main attack is literally just punching you. These hands have graduated from hitbox to hit tesseract, but that isn't all. Call right now and I will find you. Turns out, Minos can summon the power of the void, which upon contact reduces your HP to one. Y yo, hold up, did my man just give me AIDS? The longer the icon of sin is on earth, the stronger he will become. <laughs> of course, this is all before the parasites begin shooting at you because there yeah. are just too few things in this fight and not enough of them give me nightmares. I think your cells are a bit too far apart, but I fixed that for you. This is the kind of game where at every possible turn I have said to myself, wouldn't it be cool if? And the answer is always yes. So when I tell you that um you can parry this man, it's basically the rules. Yes, the rules of nature. The coolest thing you can do in a video game. It makes me feel like an anime protagonist. A game devs take notes. This is how you send the fun ceiling into the fucking stratosphere. And also uh myself. You know it's a good boss when it has a <laughs> Space program. In summary, <laughs> you have to try to make this fight boring, and even then, you might not succeed. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a dead horse to beat, and his name is Minos. Oh no, I don't think I like where this is going. Oh. Let's go! Hey guys. I'm just really looking forward to hear the, the lines that Gianni has, which is so fun because he's both literally the voice 
in-game, but also is going to do a parody. Welcome back to the protagonist shaped bulge in Minos' stomach. We've got smelly enemies. We've got belly enemies. <laughs> We've got to get out of the small intestine. Yeah, this looks, uh, medically accurate. Man's got eyes on the inside. This level is an absolute gauntlet, specifically made to test your anatomical knowledge. You really have to understand the game inside and out. Ah, yes, my favorite part of the body, Winchester Mystery House. <laughs> this shit is like Nutty Putty K for Osmosis Jones. <laughs> this is definitely me when I fill the double gold cup with the Slurpee. I appear to be trapped inside of my mind prison. This is just like Persona 5. Now, I know that Minos' polygonal stomach may seem like a weird idea for a level, but at this point, I'm used to it. I can never take back the things I've seen. It's a perfect way to visualize our descent into irreality. And honestly, I can't think of a more perfect metaphor for this video. Why, yes, I do edit my videos to kill small animals. Why do you ask? Hey there, my flesh fans. Welcome back to the, uh, cool the game things are normal. What? Oh, here we go. I think I'm getting a Zoom call from God. For what purpose do you trample upon this palace machine? I mean, why do you? To question God is heresy. heresy. But for your information, I am driving the corpse of King Minos like a fucking Mazda. Okay. It appears that your <laughs> choice is made. As the righteous hand of the Father, I will beat you back into silicon. I think someone has daddy issues. I do not have daddy issues. I am Oh, <laughs> that's a nice line. Welcome everyone to Bible Study Time. We're learning about stoning. The important lesson when fighting Gabriel is that you can't fight on his terms. In fact, don't fight him at all. Uninstall the game. This angel is faster than you, hits harder than you, teleports behind you, and is overall a massive sweat machine. I wonder if it hurt when he mm. fell from heaven. <laughs> yeah. It is very important to understand that Gabriel isn't an ultra kill boss. He's Senator Armstrong. Pure aggression is not going to cut it this time. We need to use patience and also open heart surgery. This means that learning his attack patterns is key, and so is abusing iframes like a drunk stepdad. <laughs> this copy of Elden Ring is fucking weird. You may notice it's difficult to keep my camera on him. That is because this fight is psychotic. Every combo can be dodged if you are good at the game. But as for me, Gabriel beat my ass so hard that I saw Jesus, and he was hitting <laughs> the cleanest gritty I'd ever seen. You are the demon <laughs> Excuse me? And if that wasn't enough for you, Gabriel has an entire second phase where he delivers God's judgment through the barrel of a gun. If you thought this fight was fast, then you haven't seen shit. I want to introduce my new OC, Shadow the Hedgehog. You are cringe, machine! You are not on What are you fucking saying? Overall, though, this fight really makes you feel like you're fighting an angel, because this shit is an act of God. But personally, I think it's better to reign in hell than to serve in heaven. Plus, I already have a God, and his name is Money. Yeah. <laughs> How can this be bested by this? This cobalt? I'm actually a Nikon. Ooh, insignificant fuck! What's your profanities? <laughs> May your L's be many and your bitches few. <laughs> I want this line in the game. God damn it. It, oh man, it's the way of somebody modding this so it stays like this forever. <laughs> Every single run. <laughs> May your ales be many and your bitches few. <laughs> and that, ah, that's exorcism. Abandon the creator? Heresy. It is unworthy of the holy light. Gabriel. You stand accused of losing to a fucking camera. But counsel, my devotion is absolute. The machine was enough. You have 24 hours before the father's light leaves your body. And then you will die a husk, a thing. I suggest that you prove your faith. Do you understand? Yes. Council. Good. Damn. <laughs> Holy shit, an ending. Dude, props to you, man. Ayo, if you haven't subscribed to Maxwell yet, 
Go and do it. He, congratulations for him passing a million subscribers. Well deserved. But also to the people who are involved in this, please do go and subscribe to Gmulti Ross. Uh, I saw as I was clicking on this one, I was uh, also shown that he has recently uploaded a uh, a video on Elden Ring. Show. So it should go without saying that. Please do go and check that out. Also, Gianni, it's it's a given. It's just a gift that keeps on giving. Lastly, I see here that Zani and Wes were involved. Zani I know from uh, For Honor, right? And uh, Ambiguous Amphibian. This one I do not know. But yeah, overall, what an amazing video, man. So well done. So well edited, voice acted, and oh man. So good. But guys, as always, you know what to do. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more, of course, there is a gameplay here of Act 1. You can click right, right here. And also, I wish you all to have a wonderful day. See you guys in the next one. Bye.